Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Civilization VI, playing as Mongolia, specifically as Kublai Khan, on Deity Difficulty. And uh, we're going to see if we can get maybe a Diplo victory or some of the other victories that we haven't achieved yet. Uh, but last episode, we got our first city down. Obviously, that's normal. Uh, we're about to get our second city down, and we're going to see what we can do with the Barbarians. We're also playing with the new Barbarian uh, game mode, so we're going to treat with the Barbarians and encourage them to develop into city-states. Let's get into the episode. All right, here we are in a game. Here is our city, is Xanadu. Uh, we've got a couple barbarian encampments nearby, Stone Kite and, and Ghost Fish, and a couple city states that aren't super useful to us. At least Jerusalem we might get rid of. Uh, Kaguana might be slightly more useful. Uh, before I get into the episode, though, please, please, please like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoy this type of content. Uh, it really, really helps the channel out for uh, the overall growth and sustainability of the channel. As of the moment, I still do this as a hobby. Who knows? Maybe someday this could be a full-time thing for me, but I'm a long ways away from that. But uh, with every bit of support from you guys, that really, really helps out a lot. So I appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. All right, so here we go. Xanadu! Um... Let's go. We already got the boost for archery, so we don't really need to get our slinger out too much more. And I'm kind of going to leave the barbarian encampments mostly alone, I think, at the moment. So that is the plan. We're going to see if we can develop them into city states, see what they turn into. Obviously, if we don't like the city states they turn into, we can still go to battle with them and take that land from them again. A bit harder to take it from a city state than a barbarian camp, but still a possibility. Um,. We are not currently producing builders. We might. We've already got the Pantheon. The extra gold is still useful, though. I would imagine we're going to be building another builder here soon, though. Let's go ahead and knock that in there. I'm going to keep the Barbarian stuff in there because I'm not planning on building any units right this second. We will in time, but not right this second. We're not ready, quite ready to go against walled city-states yet, so that's part of the reason why I'm not going to go down that road. Just, just yet. Um, build any special district. We definitely want to. We we took River Goddess at the end of last episode. So we are going to want to get some holy sites around. Uh, I'm just going to have you heal up right where you're at, sir. Apparently the scout has found us. We are going to start getting some barbarian stuff through there. There's some olives over there. Major droughts. Poor horses. Oh, I was like, why is it this? <laughs> I hadn't hit the X button. I'll be all right, guys. I promise. Um, all right, so there we go. Not much over there. We are definitely on an island. A bit bigger island than I was afraid of initially. But still not any direct competitors for us to go after at the moment. Um, I guess I will put you on this side because we've already dealt with at least the main unit from this side. We probably will want to at least keep these guys in check a little bit. Not let them get too carried away right now. Because obviously barbarians do have different rules than city-states. And so they're going to become very aggressive and come after us. Once they develop into a city-state, maybe we can... Um, maybe we can uh, be a little bit more lax against them initially. All right, so there's a mining. And go back to research. Let's go ahead and finish off archery. I did not realize we hadn't quite finished that off. In fact, you need to come back and become an archer. Make things a lot easier that way. We are going to go ahead and get us a builder out. We've already got that part started. Another hut right up there, right next to us. Uh, you're actually going to group up with this warrior. I do need to see where I want to send you. Probably near a river somewhere. Wow, their, their suggestions are way a ways away from us. Um, I was thinking of going this direction. Be nearish this barbarian site. Near the gypsum, maybe. I wish we had more horses somewhere. Near the river would be useful. Um... If I get too close, though, I assume that means this guy will not turn into a city-state. I'm not sure exactly how that works. In fact, if I put it here, I think that already probably makes him not turn into a city-state. I mean, I could come down this way, still be near the river. It's a long ways to travel, long distance from our cities. I want me to settle on the wheat. I don't know if I want to do that. 
settling next to the salt over here. Wouldn't be too bad. Could technically eventually get out to the whales, although that would take a while. Is wrecked next to some really solid production sites. Uh, not the greatest amount of food, but the bananas nearby, if we got there before Jerusalem, which is unlikely, would be helpful. I don't know, that might be the best, and then we can kind of backfill from there. I'm going to put you there, you there, and group you guys together. I shot an arrow into the All right, there's our archery. Let's go and get you upgraded. Well, you can go deal with that barbarian encampment on your own. All right. Um, obviously, figuring out where iron is is always useful. We do need to kill, I think, one more barbarian. Or is it two more? Have we only killed one? We've, I think we've only killed one. So we'll need to kill some more barbarians just to get that boost. Let's go and just get pottery. That'll be easy enough. We do want to get up here to sailing, which if we settle the city down here, that will get us a city on the coast at least. We might want to use some of the gold we have to try and buy out to this tile right away to get those bananas for us before Jerusalem can get them. Free builder unit. Okay, well, that's fairly useful. Definitely go hook up the gypsum right away. We'll go ahead and finish this builder for now. All right, well, they came at me. Um... Too scary with just one of them. Although the barbarian quadrim over here is a little bit more scary. Boost for masonry. Yeah, we do have a volcano up here. All right, another builder. We can send this builder actually down towards... I was going to say send it towards this other city. Oh my, they are coming out in the swarms. I mean, I knew they had the exclamation mark, but hoping they would uh, be delayed a little bit. I might have to go ahead and buy that new, uh, that new warrior right away. <laughs> buy a warrior from them to fight against them, which would be kind of funny. Um, I'm going to finish off this unit. Just get a credit for finishing unit. There we go. I thought we had two. That's our third. Oh, that's right, because we got the scout earlier on. Another settler right away would be very useful. Start building out to more uh, locations. Yeah, I'm okay with the mine there, I think. Okay, these guys are not going to let us get over there. Thank you, Jerusalem. Really want to get this builder down there somewhere. It's not going to be easy. Never again. Oh, Crater Lake. Kind of in a very unuseful spot. Don't know how many cities we're going to be putting up here in the tundra. Maybe we might still put one up there because of that, because it might be worthwhile enough to put something up there, but it's not great. It does count as fresh water, though, doesn't it? I think. All right, so they did open up the spot where I wanted to put the city. That is going to help us right away. Up the city down. We do get the boost there. And I do also immediately want to buy the bananas. Of all the tiles, that is the most critical. That's going to help us work those right away. In fact, we are going to work those right away. Just get some growth coming in first. And... Honestly, getting a monument just to help our uh, tile growth a bit more would be useful as well. And chill for a second until we get some movement back. Try to be very careful with this builder. Uh, it's possible you could take me. I knew this guy couldn't. I wasn't thinking about the scout. Uh, if you take me, then I'll find a way to get you back. Could get rid of this altogether if I wanted to, but we're not going to do that. Have some faith. I'll bring you down here just to help help out a little bit. It might be the time to go ahead and buy us a, a warrior. 
bribing him would have been useful, but we'll go ahead and grab this. Oh, it's actually gonna be down here. Uh, is that what it says? Oh, I didn't see that. Okay, uh, last time I saw it, it said Xanadu. So I just assumed it always kind of came to your capital. Um, but no, I did not see that, that the text had changed there. That's all right. All right, so yeah, this builder, builders are gonna have some trouble. Uh, I'm gonna have to get them back to safety. Hmm. They're definitely coming on the attack here, aren't they? I'm going to put you across the river. That way this builder can back up into the city if needed. I mean, we'll be fine, but, you know, a little bit of a delay in things that we were planning on doing. All right, it is time to move off the state workforce. In fact, it might have been a turn late, but that's all right. Uh, let's go and work on military tradition. Uh, we do need to disperse a barbarian outpost to get credit for that. So probably not a bad idea for us to pick a barbarian outpost to get rid of. Possibly we could still disperse this one if they haven't built any units since I killed that last one. At least Jerusalem and uh, Paguana are up here helping us out a little bit. Okay, they have not built any units. So unless they get something in this next turn, we should be able to search that. All right, that's helpful. Um, builder, still not safe for you to pop out yet. We'll get there. You can probably swing back over here to be ready to jump on that mine that we wanted to hook up anyway. I thought Clay must feel happy. Pottery. All right, let's go and disperse this just to get credit for that. Oh. Oh. Wait a minute. Why am I not? Oh, covering things. I was like, uh, disperse clan. Destroy the outpost and earn 10 XP or... Raid clan, earn 30 gold. The other plus remaining intact, lose 10 points towards city-state conversion. Clans can be raided once every third. Oh, wow. That's useful. That's a good way to get some gold, I suppose. Can I raid them and then disperse them? Guess we won't know until we try. But that would potentially delay tr military tradition a bit. We'll raid them. We'll see what happens. It's 30 gold. Why not? I won't know until I try, I guess. Uh, let's go and pick up sailing. We do want to kind of start working towards embarking stuff. Uh, we are going to need to get there at some point. Hello, Slinger. Oh, another Slinger. Um, hmm. Might actually kill you for a tick. All right, he won't be able to get to me in time before I build this. Although he still has one build left. Ah, he still should be fine because I should be able to kill him before he can get to me. A lot of units coming in here. Wow. Oh, so that does pop out another unit here. So we're not going to be able to raise it right away. Good to know. Let's get out of here, get healed up a little bit. Put you really low. 
This guy would be a little bit less in trouble. We may need to back up and retreat a little bit, though. Let the uh, Jerusalem guy kind of get get in there. Let's back up that way, because that way if the Slinger advances on us, which he did, we'll have our archer in range to be able to help out with him. I think this cow can kill me. All right, well, mine is done. Put another mine down here. Not quite big enough to take advantage of all these spots, to be fair, but uh, honestly, we may have saved this builder for just for the settler that's coming out just to help out that next city just a little bit. I think another archer at some point wouldn't be a bad idea. Thank you, Jerusalem, helping me out a bit. I'm also just going to heal you where you're at. Well, no. This thing would be able to jump in there on me if I do. I don't think he can kill me. Just in case. We'll back you up. All right, this builder can come down here and hook up the salt. Do you have military tradition done where we need to disperse the thing now? Um, which is exactly the state I was afraid of. Because um, we are in that position where we're going to have to work on something. So maybe I should have dispersed it. It's all right. We're not going to be finding a second content anytime soon. So we'll go ahead and grab that one. Jerusalem's got a lot of units. All right, let's just heal you up and then we'll go after this guy up here, I think. See if we can at least still get the dispersion done. Alrighty, uh, housing's still good, um, so we don't necessarily need the granary right this second. Another archer would not be a bad idea, though, just to give us a little bit of extra flexibility here. By keeping the barbarians around, we have to be a lot more careful with them. Alright, Settler, where are we going to sit you now? Actually, I don't disagree with this one. I was thinking about this, like a spot over here earlier. So put you close enough to put a harbor out if we want to. Um, but also get you close to the salt, which, you know, it's fine. Kind of an intermediary spot between our two cities. Could still come down this way, next to this river, a bunch of stuff down here. Honestly, both spots are not bad. Because I could, yeah, I can, I can put them in both of those locations. And down here where it's suggesting. I mean, don't always follow the suggestions, but they are suggestions for a reason. I mean, this is sites on a coast, which is a plus. Uh, strong yield within three tiles. That's always a plus. Three and two. That's really good. Uh, inner ring yield. Strong yields adjacent to the site. Bunch of two ones, uh, which is pretty useful. Three of them, at least. So some good good reasons for going here. You know, why not? Go down that way. Builder, you can come down to... I'll just send you that direction and we'll figure out from there. It is not that life assures fishing boats, builders can embark, galleys. Lives by There's foreign trade. We're going to start doing some trade routes soon. Uh, I do think we can swap off this. We're not building any builders right this second. Let's go back to a little bit more gold. Once we get a trade route up, we can swap to that one. I 
and getting some early early cavalry type units would be useful. Get the encampment so we can start getting our special uh, building here soon. Plus, it'll show iron, which will be very useful. All right, we're bringing out the boost for mysticism. We'll go ahead and do that. I don't know that I want to just build a farm there. It doesn't seem like a best farm spot. I could just send this last build over here just to help the city out a little bit more as well from that side. Came out of me again, huh? Oh, we got hit by the blizzard. Um, we definitely want to get a trader up soon. It doesn't have to be from the city, though. Getting a galley would be a really good idea, though, because the city is on the coast. Let's go and get the galley out, because that's going to help us find, you know, a good spot for a future city, hopefully. All right, um, that poor, that poor scout. Oh, where'd you go? Definitely buying out some of these tiles to get them improved early would be a pretty good idea, I think. All right, we are going to go ahead and... Oh, we're going to get killed is what we're going to do. I was not paying attention to that. It was hills. And it ended our turn. Very good chance we die here. All right, we're not dead, but if we stick around, we will be dead. Preserve! Oh, yeah, they added the preserves. Oh, that's right. Free housing based on the pill. Culture bombs adjacent neutral tiles and increases their pill by one. Plus one housing. Cannot be built adjacent to the city center. And a grove. Well, that would definitely be something interesting to try out. Um, I gotta get this guy healed up because he can't get in there with the quadrium there. So we'll back up. We can't do the city thing yet because that would leave us there for a turn too long and we would then die. Gotta be close to three pop or six pop, I should say. We are getting there. Once we get this city established and this city grows in three turns, we will get there. We get the trader. That is definitely a good idea. Um, we only have one envoy and we don't won't get any extra bonus. So we're going to hold on to that envoy for now. I guess I could get rid of that city state or that, that uh, place. Another archer at least. Ooh, another one. Gray Shark. That's cool. I like that one. I'm going to get you back to the city since we have the other archer out there now. Um, I guess I could raid these guys at least. Although that will lower their conversion time. Which may not be what we're trying to do.
Classical era should be a new normal age, right? Yep. Nothing too crazy. Uh, we'll keep going with the Eurekas. That's usually the one I like the best. I can see arguments for all the other ones, but that one I tend to feel like I get the most of. I found the city, and then in one turn we'll have the six pop. Uh, I do want to potentially buy out some of these tiles. Probably this tile first because of the extra food. We do have enough money for this tile as well, though. So we'll go ahead and do that. That's going to be okay. Um, Make sure we are working that food, though. We are. Good. Go ahead and get that improved. Alrighty, uh, a monument could be useful to help grow out faster. Granary will be needed soonish, though. Let's go and start working on the granary. It's going to take us a while to get there anyway. There's a lot of ships. Thankfully, only one of them can hit us right now. Early Empire. All right, we'll go ahead and get rid of the clan this time just to get the boost. Get some error score as well. Alrighty, what now? Um, we do have a lot of guys near the river. Water mill could be useful. Obviously, science at some point is going to be necessary. Although we haven't met another civilization to get the boost for that. Don't know that we can wait for that. Harvesting of bananas, plantations to get on the bananas would be useful as well. Holy sites for our extra housing and happiness could be very good as well. So, you know, let's go for astrology. Let's get those, some holy sites out, get some faith rolling in. The sooner we get the faith coming in, the sooner it starts to build up really, really high. And we can then, you know, buy units or whatever else with that. Back over the past with its changing empire. All right. Reducing the cost of purchasing tiles well, would have been useful a few seconds ago. Settlers. We are going to want more settlers. We are going to get a trader out soon. We're not there yet. I think plugging the settlers thing in will encourage us to get some settlers. I could also see an argument for this to get some uh, couple ships out. Jumps down to two turns on that. Uh, all right, we're going to go ahead and put a cut in there. Uh, when we come back, we'll keep building out cities, keep building out this landmass, and then see where we can go from there. But uh, I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye.